Hello friend, welcome you all to my channel Learn Innovative with me. My name is Sasi Bhusar Chauhan. Today I am going to show you that how you can analyze your CBA data that is cytomatic bead array data using the FCAP array software. We did our experiment using the kit cytomatic bead array human TH1, TH2, TH17 cytokine kit. Its cat number is 560484 and ran our sample in the BD LSR4 TESA machine and exported our data in FCS version 3. And today I am going to show you that how you can analyze your CBA data using the FCAP array software. So you can see on my laptop screen. This is the interface of FCAP array version 3 software. Before going through the data analysis, I just want to inform you that for any data analysis using the FCAP array, we need to download the bead library for the CBA kit and the CBA flex set. Without this bead library, you cannot perform any data analysis from this software. So if you click on the bead library, you can see here. If you are using first time FCAP array, you have to download the bead library from the BD Bioscience website and you have to import in this software. So I'm going to show you that how you can download the bead library file. For this, you have to open BD Biosciences website and click on the product. In the product, you have to click on the reagent. In the reagent, uh, you have to click in the immunoassay reagent, CBA. And if we scroll down, you will see the tools if you click on the tools here you can see the list of many software and the template and bead library so you you can see here the bead library fcap array version 3.0 software you can download it so i have already downloaded so i am clicking on cancel in the fcap array software you can import by clicking here if you click on import you can open the downloaded bead library i have already so i have cancel now here before importing you have to unzip the bead library so here i am selecting experiment you can see the interface of the fcap array for the analysis of the new data you have to click on the new experiment and here you can rename your experiment so if you want to add comment you can add here and you can you have to select the layout what you want so i am selecting 96 well but according to your experiment you can select here and click ok so you can see the layout of the experiment you have to select the standard test control in this layout but before this you can see at the left side here is some other option in the experiment so if you click on the data sheet you can add some additional information like institute operator condition in the data sheet but i am not going to add any other information here so i am just clicking on the design but if you want to add some notes you can click on the notes and the and this report section will be used after analyzing the data so first uh, you have to select your sample standard or test sample and assign in the layout so here you can see that standard test control background and undefined sample the standard is selected and here you can see in the file ex explorer you can select the folder or file of your experiment so my file is on the desktop in CBA tutorial folder. So I am just clicking on this. So you can see that all the files are present here. So first I have to select the standard. So I am selecting the standard from this standard one to top standard and select and drag it in the layout. And for the sample, you have to select here test and select your sample or test sample and drag it also here in the layout. If you click on any well in the layout, you can see the information in the sample properties panel here so the in the a1 well you can see the standard one with the dilution 512 like this if you want to check the sample name from the layout you have to just click on that and you can see the information of that sample in the sample properties panel in the layout panel if you want to delete any sample you have to just click on that and right click and remove the sample you can remove it very easily here and again if you want to revert back if you have to select in this file and drag it here like this you can remove or add sample or standard in the layout after selecting the standard and sample in the layout you have to just click on the bead model in the nuplex nuplex is divided into mainly 
10 parts for any experiment data analysis you have to follow each step one by one so the first step is read and model after selecting the sample and standard in the layout you have to just click on the read and model and here you have to select your the cba kit which you have used for the for your experiment so we have used the human th1 th2 th17 cytokine kit with the cat number 560484 you have to select and drag it here here you, you can see the information in this cba kit there are seven beats with the il17 gamma tnf il10 il6 il4 and il2 after bead and model you have to click on the instrument setting and in instrument setting you have to select fcs file of your experiment any file you can choose any file of your experiment here after selecting the file you can see here the cluster of the beads so in this kit there are seven beads you can see the seven cluster here you have to assign the bead on the on the cluster here so in the kit manual they provide the information about the bead position so you can see here the position of the bead and in the fcap array software you have to assign the cluster for the assigning of the cluster you can select the bead and drag it on the cluster one like this but if you want to delete this assign if you want to remove this assignment you have to just right click and remove bit assignment for the assigning of the b you can select and double click on the cluster it will automatically assign with the b name and for the second you have to just click on the second it will assign automatically this and now b3 is selected you have to just click double click on the third cluster it will assign again like this you can assign the bead cluster but if you want to remove any bead you have to just right click and remove the assignment and, and, se and select the bead and just double click on the cluster by this way you can assign your cluster with bead after this you have to select on the debris filtering you can see here it automatically assign cluster with all the sample and if any sample not clustered with the seven beads you can see here test 004 in the red color you can see six by seven it means in the seven cluster only six cluster are assigned in this sample so you have to assign it manually for this you have to click on the manual clustering and at the top you can see that use the manual clustering for the failed file you have to select this and here you can see that in this sample only six cluster are assigned the first cluster is not assigned for the bead so you have, you have to select the bead one and you have to select the cluster one here and just double click here you can see the bead one is assigned and like this you have to select all the cluster for this sample and next you have to click on the standard you have to put the standard concentration value here you can put manually or you can select here the highest concentration i'm just showing you the concentration of standard provided in the kit so you can see in the kit they have provided the highest concentration having 5000 picogram per ml and the lowest 20 picogram per ml with the dilution 1 is to 256 but we have made another 512 up to 10 picogram per ml if, but you can prepare up to 20 picogram per ml so in fcap array software you can see my standard 01 is the lowest concentration and the standard 10 have the highest concentration so i am just here putting the value 5000 and dilution factor 2 and click on the ok so you can see that it automatically assign standard concentration here after standard and qc you have to click on the control definition so there are no controls sample in the flex here i am clicking standard curve you can see that fcap array software prepared the standard curve for all seven cytokines you can see here and the parameter you can also see here r square value 99.97 and the fitting type five parameter logistic here i want to show you some additional information that you can adjust your standard fitting so for this you can if you just click on this fitting type you can see here there are there are other options like four parameter exponential sigmoidal linear quadratic cubic and other many more you can select curve fitting type so that you can get good result for your experiment after standard curve you have to click on the result per n light in the result per n light you can see the bead one il 17 a result per n light means it shows the il 17 result with all the sample like you can see on standard and all the sample and here you can see the same data in the form of column with the 
MFI value, ST, CV, and concentration. And if you click on the interferon gamma, you can see the gamma result on all the N light in all the samples and standard. And like this, TNF alpha, IL10, IL6, IL4, and IL2, all result here. And if you click on the result per sample, in the result per sample, it shows the it shows the all the cytokine level for a particular sample. You can see that in the test 004, the cytokine level of 17, gamma, TNF alpha, IL10, IL6, IL4, and IL2 at the same time. And in here also you can see in the row and column format. And you can also see the cluster of the beads in that particular sample. And you can also export this data from here. If you click on the export, it will give the option export in the Excel, PDF, and other format also. So if you click on the Excel, you can see the data is exported in the form of Excel. But if you want to export in the PDF, you can also export in the form of PDF. And in the last, if you click on the report, you can see that it provides all the detail with the instrument information, layout, and the standard sample and quantitative analysis all the information in this file with the standard curve you can see here and this report you can export from here in the form of pdf pdf excel and rtf so you can see that in the form of pdf it exports the all the report Uh, and the upper side you can see here is there are lots of options you can change according to your choice like if you want to add color in the report you can add color and if you want to add watermark you can add watermark or picture watermark what you want you can add here so if array is a very user friendly software you can analyze your data very easily but if you have any problem with analyzing your cba data or cba flex data with the fcap array program you can comment me i will help you as as soon as possible i hope this tutorial will help you in your research thank you for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you